My name is Oscar Yi Ho. I'm an artist who mainly works with oil paint, um, although I have a drawing practice um, as well. My art practice is heavily influenced by my own um, experience as being part of um, the Chinese diaspora. So I was born in Liverpool, UK, um, but my parents are from the south of China and they immigrated to the UK in the 90s. And although my parents tried to take me to Chinese school, it was a failure. And so I can't really read or write Chinese um, or speak Chinese that well. Um, and so I have a very estranged relationship to the Chinese language. Um, and there's a certain familiarity with the Chinese language and the way it looks and other kind of parts of Chinese visual culture, certain symbols, for example, that seem really familiar, but at the same time are very alien and very estranged. And so a large part of my practice is kind of reckoning with that. For this show at 293, there's one self-portrait I've done, and the others are portraits, I guess, of birds. And I use the bird symbol a lot because my given name in Chinese, in Cantonese it's Yat Ming. Um, I probably butchered that. But it comes from this idiom that uh, is to do, I'm going to butcher this again, is to do with a kind of general who's seeking counsel and then his counselor tells him that there's, there's this bird in a tree that was quiet for a while and then I let out a single cry and then flew off. I was like, that was amazing or whatever. Um, but the gist of the story involves a bird and my mother sometimes calls me bird as like a nickname. So throughout my works, the bird is meant to be a um, signifier of myself. So I'd say a lot of my work is about relationality. You know, we're kind of flung into this world with other people. Other people kind of constitute who we are. All I'm trying to do is represent um, how I've lived with other people. And so in a lot of my works that depict other people, that he signifies of myself. So that's why he's a bird, often as a signifier. Um, to kind of show that I'm not trying to paint just a single subjectivity, I'm trying to paint kind of an intersubjectivity, a kind of communal being with these people. Um, and so that's why I often only paint people I'm close to, friends, lovers, ex-lovers. Um, that type of thing. I think what I'm trying to do is just to stand testament to having lived this particular life. For this body of work at T293, um, the text works are poems that I write. Sometimes they're pre-planned, sometimes they're spontaneous, and I essentially write the poems in English, and then I bury it by um, treating the text in a particular way that kind of obscures the actual text, the actual legibility of the text, and so you get a kind of illegible poem. Um, but there are moments in which there's clarity, and I think that um, a viewer who wants to spend time with the poems, with the texts, um, I think over time the words are going to reveal themselves to you, because it, it is actual legible English that I've written, I've just um, obscured it by um, making the language, the text, more opaque, harder to read. Um, a kind of poem or an artwork that requires the viewer to spend longer than just like 10 seconds with the piece to really study the piece. Um, I think for me is a gesture which speaks to the a, to desire for opacity, um, to not have things be so readily knowable or legible um, or clear.